Welcome to Tusk 2017. Our first band of the day is a Finnish black metal legend. Well, that's a lot to say about a band who has existed for about a quarter of a uh, century. But here they are, still alive, living and kicking our asses and their asses and whoever asses come the way. Baratrum is the band here and we have three special guys here delivering the message. So, welcome to Rauta. How are you guys doing? Pretty fine, thank you, Jerry. Uh, second beer, I'm pretty disappointed about myself because I should have been drinking like a case of beer until now. Yeah, we started a talk before we started the actual interview that it's only the second beer of the day and it's already almost two o'clock. What is this madness? What is your input to this uh, non-alcoholic existence of black metal? I don't I can't think this sober. So let's let's just drink more. Yeah. Is the alcohol the king to the band's existence or is it just a kind of a, a bed, bed body you just have to have in order to be in working condition? No, it's not it's it's like gasoline but not necessary. <coughs> or actually it is pretty necessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are you fooling? Yeah, yeah, who are yeah let's, let's not fool anyone. It's our gasoline, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you've been banned from uh, Tuska a few years, but now you're back. Can you enlighten the not-so-aware uh, watchers and listeners? What's the story behind all this ban? I, you mean this... <laughs> Pause. <laughs> yeah, you were away from Tuska quite a few years. You're no, you were not, uh, uh, you were not let in. What is, what is the cause here? Uh, I I guess some people just can't take some fucking I don't know my opinions. <laughs> Too harsh? Perhaps I don't know. It, it's normal to me, but some flower hat. Ladies, don't think same way. You're known as a very colorful person and a very colorful band, even though it's all black on the outside. But anyway, you have said a very uh, interesting opinions and, and statements during the band's very long existence. Is this the story of you being what the band is, or is it also the reason why you are not selling the stages like Dimmu Borger and the bigger bands? Uh, how, how, how come you compare us to Dimmu Borger? Same genre. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but you know what I mean. Um, I don't know. I, I think outsiders know it better. I don't know. <laughs> we never sell out. What's the story behind your pirate stuff? <laughs> It's this wet to peroxide. <laughs> so there was an ac accident. Can you enlighten us a bit? Yeah, last weekend I was at Numerok Festival and I had to put some this liquid to my contact lenses and shit happened because it was this fucking peroxide <laughs> that I yeah fucking peroxide it was the word <laughs> and I I think it hurt it like hell still does it's almost a week ago so um, you are now basically back in the sense that there was a uh, quite a bit of uh, pause between this new album and the last one what's the cause of this who wants who want to go Actually, we haven't been on a break. We have played at least 12 gigs per year. But I mean albums. Uh, albums, yeah. I don't know. It just needed to be wait for. I don't know. Actually... No, no one could reason? I really don't know. Uh, I think it, it was because we got this deal and we signed it and then we had to do. Do, yeah, we had to do because the of the label. Yeah. <laughs> the label wanted us to do a new album, so 
Yeah, you're now on a new label. Uh, how it has been? Great. It's the best best label we've been working with, Saturnal Records. Uh, what made you to um, lead to this label? What was the way you got the contract? Actually, they asked us to re uh, they wanted to release our demos first, and actually it haven't happened yet. <laughs> but later, so just uh, War Metal was released as vinyl, and uh, yeah, now we made new album, and now we start to put together this this old demo cassettes, and they will be released later on. Hopefully during this year. All right, you have also had some uh, lineup changes, and I'm not talking about like let's just kick the old drummer away and get a new one or something like that. But you have had a base uh, like a huge facelift, so to speak. What's the story behind this? I don't know. Uh, there have been uh, I, I don't know 40 members, something like that, but. Mostly like session musicians, like you know, they came to play the role, one role, and they did it. No, there was no, not any fights or something like that. Perhaps in two cases there have been. Are you a bad or good boss? Oh, what is? Is he a good or bad boss? Best. <laughs> Hmm. Well, what, what do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. What's your opinion? I don't know. We've been doing this together for 18 years, so I think he's quite great boss. So you're like, almost like fuck buddies? Yes. That's beautiful. So, tell the people about the new album, Fanatico. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? This your version of a kind of a like Indian Shiva goddess or what the fuck that that what came to my mind? What's the story behind the weird cover image? Uh, I start with the uh, the title. It's it was supposed to be fantastico, <laughs> but there is misprinting on the cover. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Uh, I think there is combination of religions in the cover. There's like, yeah, you have to study it. You're not sure yet, or you you just don't want to tell it. I think there is some burning pages on the background. It all is together. You have to find it. I I don't I don't like to put the you know really. <laughs> ready to eat food. So people just Google it up and or find the vinyl version and uh, go with the spine glass? And study it. Yeah. So, so what is the album uh, like theme-wise? Is there a theme or is there like um, certain songs you are uh, more proud of or they are more important to you than let's say some of the other songs? Is there a leading song so to speak? I don't know. It's it's like a com complete snot ball. I, I think the title song puts all together. Yeah, yeah. That is like like cement. You also went Finnish on uh, one of the songs at least. Why so? Why not? <laughs> like, I mean like English all the way, but now? Yeah, we've been using some Finnish before, no, not this much. Actually, I have used also Latin, Sami, so why not? But don't wait any Russian or Swedish from us. Why not? <laughs> because we are not Russian or Swedish. Would you like to be? <laughs> Oh, not boy. really. <laughs> Why not? I'm pretty proud, Finn. All right. And this is a really special question that we came from the... We are pretty proud, Finns. So, that, that leads to my next question. If Zero was Stalin and 88 is Hitler, where you are on the scale? <laughs> you can go first. 
666. So off the scale? Yeah. All the way to Satan? Yes. All right, what about you? Uh, he told it pretty good, I think. So what Satan is to you guys? Is it a real uh, being or is it more like a symbol or what it is? It's, uh, I think it's personal for uh, all of us. I think it's my father. <laughs> Simply like that. Who is the mother? Toin. <laughs> Got any uh, siblings? Uh, yeah. Care to name a few? No. Too secret. Or just embarrassed of them? <laughs> Both. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, you've been here around 25 years, correct if I'm wrong. What's it? What, what, what? 27 years. 27. How, how things have changed in your opinion during your existence? Quite a lot. The better or worse? In my opinion, better. Why so? Because, uh, of course, there is lots of shit in scene today, but there is so much gems as well. I think it's good that metal music in general is quite popular. I'm not like that's too trendy of <laughs> at least I know that Baratrum never sells out. We don't sell our souls. I you have a soul. I eat souls. <laughs> you want to consume mine? <laughs> I have taken your souls so many years ago, Jerry. Oh, shit. That kind of <laughs> you didn't even know. This. No, that's why I feel so empty all the time. <laughs> so, uh, so, is there any errors you would like to fix in the, in the band's history or is it every, is everything going as it was meant to be? I'm pretty happy. Of course, there are some some mistakes that I would like to take back, but shit happens. I don't know. That's life. I don't. I think I'm pretty fine with my past. So, what's in for the future of the band? I don't know. This is. We don't have any, any gigs. Uh, planned now, except this Tuska gig. Yeah. I don't know. Next year, again Europe, little tour, but that's it. Can you uh, tell some specifics about the tour? Any other bands or countries you're going to? We cannot tell yet. Too drunk. Yep, too drunk. <laughs> too drunk. And uh, nothing like they are just in progress, so we cannot tell too many, too much yet. Because otherwise we, we we would be like lying to you. Fair enough. So, one last thing: if there was a one reason why non-satanic person should go for Baratrum or Fanatico, what would that be? Like buy the album or check out the band in, on website or whatever. What would be the reason? I don't know. Uh, albums and live. I, li I think we are a live band. Album is also good. So why not check it for the music or something? I don't know. So what, what is... Go to YouTube and check it out and buy a record. All right. Thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure. Hope you're going to play a really nice kick and kick some asses. And I'm sure they definitely will. There will be some ass kicking, Satan worshipping and uh, lots of alcoholic in involved. We cannot get drunk or at least these guys will be. So, until next motherfucking time.